Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about elements versus compounds. An element is a pure substance. In other words, an element cannot be broken down into a simpler substance by physical or chemical means. An element is made up of only one type of atom. An atom consists of a proton, neutron, and an electron. Some common examples of elements would be carbon, oxygen, or iron. The elements are arranged on the periodic table based on their number of protons. For example, sodium has 11 protons. Potassium has 19. The number of protons of an element always stays the same. Each element also has its own unique set of properties. A compound is a pure substance of two or more elements chemically combined. Elements combine during a chemical change. A particle of a compound is called a molecule. When the elements combine chemically, a new substance is created. This, this compound has different properties than the elements that make it up. Hydrogen and oxygen are gases, but they combine to make liquid water. Here are some items that combine to make compounds. Table salt is sodium and chlorine. Glucose, a type of sugar, is made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. When elements create a compound, they always join in a specific ratio. The ratio of water is 2 hydrogen to 1 oxygen. If a compound has a different ratio of hydrogen to oxygen, then it is not water. Glucose, a type of sugar, has a ratio of 6 carbon to 12 hydrogen to 6 oxygen. Glucose will always have the same ratio. Compounds are all around you, in the food you eat, your school supplies, and even yourself. So there we go, elements versus compounds. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.